Now, these are advocates for the houseless community, and they're staging a teach-in in response to a resolution that the city is voting on that deters people from giving money to panhandlers. The resolution urges people to refrain from giving money to panhandlers and wants them to instead hand out pamphlets that will connect them to resources. Organizers say there are other ways to address the homelessness issue, and that's why they're holding a teach-in ahead of today's council vote. Canyon Ryan is the executive director of United Tenants of Albany. This is just a resolution, but if it's just a resolution, why not pass a more just resolution? You know, why not pass a resolution that says we condemn the issue of homelessness, we don't condemn the homeless? Why not say, you know, we support the proliferation of uh, low barrier shelters that are safe and, and comfortable and clean instead of saying, you know, these people don't go to shelters and it's their fault, like they don't want housing. It's like nobody doesn't want housing. He says it's a systemic issue. There's an issue with the way programs are rolled out. Hannah Hurley is the housing committee co-chair for the local Democratic Socialists. She also believes there are better solutions. She says there's a need for more people who will connect houseless folks to resources rather than targeting panhandlers. At the end of the day, like this is the free exchange of money. Um, I personally like to if I see someone suffering, I want to give them money. I do not want my city to be um, discouraging me from doing that. That to me feels like a responsibility that I take on. Hurley called the resolution disheartening. Council member Gabriela Romero said in a statement that read in part, this resolution offers no solution to the current housing, drug, and mental health crises we face. As we enter a very important budget session, I hope our common council can regroup to focus on funding evidence-based programs and initiatives that will help our most vulnerable. Reporting in Albany, Karina Dominguez, News 10 ABC.